Our solar system is like a fellowship of the ring. Every single planet is the main hero and affects each other proportionally. What would happen to us, humans, if hypothetically there was no Jupiter anymore? Before we begin our scientific analysis, let's break down what our cosmic behemoth Jupiter represents itself. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. It's so large that all of the planets in the solar system could fit inside it. If we talk about Earth and Jupiter, 1300 Earths could fit inside it like a big celestial gumball machine. If we really paid attention to the sky, we would do nothing but freak out that there is a giant, terrifying stormy orb of gas and pressure up there. Jupiter's powerful magnetosphere is the biggest object in the solar system. In fact, it's even bigger than the Sun and stretches up to the next planet Saturn. If it glowed in the wavelengths visible to the eye, it would appear three times the size of the full moon to the viewers on Earth. At night, it would appear like this. It's really humongous and beautiful. Despite being a giant ball of gas, you can fly through it like a cloud. Its furious storms, ammonia atmosphere and its atmospheric pressure would annihilate any organism and dismantle spaceships. Its gravity is so strong that a rocket would have to go unthinkable 217,000 km per hour to leave. What if we didn't have Jupiter? Well, we probably wouldn't be that, because we've never have lived. One reason the Earth is habitable is that the gravity of Jupiter does help protect us from some comets. Long period comets in particular entering the solar system from outer reaches. Jupiter's tremendous gravity is thought to sling most of these fast moving ice bolts out of the solar system before they can get close to Earth. So Jupiter is basically a vacuum cleaner of our system. So long period comets are thought to strike Earth only on very long timescales of millions or tens of millions of years. Without Jupiter nearby, long period comets would collide with our planet much more frequently. Just recently in 1994, the comet Shoemaker Levy 9 crashed into Jupiter. These brown spots mark the places where fragments of comets tore through Jupiter's atmosphere. This great red spot is three times the size of Earth, and these impact spots are at least the same size or bigger than the continents here on Earth. And now imagine if Jupiter hadn't been around in 1994. Where would have that comet gone? The next largest and nearest planet was Earth. That comet would have collided with us. The asteroid that hit Chicxulub 65 million years ago, ending the age of dinosaurs, was about 10 kilometers in diameter. And Shoemaker Levy 9 was 4 kilometers in diameter. When it hit Jupiter, it released an energy of equivalent to 6 million megatons of TNT. That's 600 times all the world's nuclear arsenal. Suppose if it did crash into Earth in 1994, it would not make that much of an impact than it did on Jupiter, cause we have weaker gravity. If you ask, it will be enough to obliterate us into non-existence. As a matter of fact, these impacts are the ones that we see. These collisions with Jupiter probably happens once 25 times every month, comets ranging from big to small. If you sit back and contemplate a little bit, it's indeed really scary to think that our celestial neighbor that is visible to our naked eye is getting hit every month by comets and asteroids that could easily destroy our planet. It's like looking at your neighbor's house just across the street getting hit by a plane by accident every single day, when that can happen to your house as well. Not only Jupiter taking hits for us from comets and asteroids, it has locked the asteroids in the orbital resonance. This means some of the asteroids share Jupiter's 12 year orbital period, while others have orbital periods of 3, 6, 8 years, keeping those asteroids from our orbit. Jupiter has the most mass of all planets in our solar system. As such, it's the second largest gravitational player next to the Sun. Jupiter's gravitational effects are the reason why there is a large asteroid belt between Mars and itself, holding the asteroids in somewhat stable orbit, counteracting Sun's gravitational pull. The moment Jupiter is gone, all of these asteroids are going to simply fall off from their orbits, creating total mayhem and chaos in the inner solar system. It estimates there are around 33,000 of these asteroids in orbit around the Sun now. All of their orbits will be messed up. It will be the same as, as if you put 4 apples and a bag of rice into a washing machine and put it into intense drying mode. In this case, 4 apples are terrestrial planets including Earth and bag of rice will be asteroids. And now what would happen to us, little humans, in that washing machine without Jupiter? Imagine swinging a stone in your hand which is tied to a string. If you swing intensely, the string gets cut and stone ceases its circular motion and, and shoots off in a tangential direction. Jupiter has 37 known moons, each of them are swinging around a planet similar to the stone. 
If their planet suddenly disappears, all the moons will shut off in a direction tangential to their orbits. Some of them that have a high kinetic energy might leave the solar system, and many others end up in a collision course with other planets, including Earth. Some of them might run into the Sun, and others would become planets by their own right, orbiting in highly eccentric and in less eccentric paths. Ganymede is the biggest moon in the solar system. In fact, it's even bigger than the planet Mercury. There is a high chance that Ganymede and other 37 Jovian moons might collide with Earth if Jupiter suddenly disappears. Directly, Jupiter's pull on Earth is somewhat negligible. Little bit of high school physics, and according to Newton's law of universal gravitation, there is quite a amount of gravitational force acting on the Earth due to Jupiter, and vice versa. Although Earth would not greatly change its course if, say, Jupiter is to vanish. Well, the reason is, Earth and other planets orbit whatever the celestial object has bigger mass, relatively to their distance. The fact that our Sun is 99.9% .9 the mass of our entire solar system, we are completely bound to Sun. As of right now, if you are watching this video, Jupiter is pulling you towards itself 34 million times less than the Earth's gravity. It's absolutely insignificant force acting on us, but it's still there. Jupiter is affecting us individually, one way or other. Another interesting story that comes from several centuries ago. In the year 1770, a comet Luxel streaked past Earth at a distance of only a million miles. The comet had come streaking in from the outer solar system three years earlier and passed close to Jupiter, which diverted it into a new orbit and straight towards Earth. The comet made two passes around the Sun, and 1779 again passed a very close to Jupiter, which then threw it back out of the solar system. It was as if Jupiter aimed at us and missed. It can be evil sometimes, yes, but most of the time, it's a good guy. Well, to conclude how important the Jupiter is, Jupiter is a Sam to our Frodo, but sometimes it might turn out to be a Gollum, but thankfully it has not happened yet. There are a lot of things happening in our solar system that we don't have enough telescopes and instruments to detect them all. We wouldn't be hanging around here on Earth so long without Jupiter. Hey folks, support this channel on Patreon where you can get cool things in return. Thanks for watching and subscribe.